Hello friends, today I'm going to explain the idea or you can say the expected learning outcomes of chapter 22, The World in My Home of class 4th in NCRT book. As we all know that we all are social animals and to become a good responsible citizen, we come across so many incidences in our home, nearby society, school or in any public place. These instances gives us real experience to develop the above said qualities. So let's begin our video. First, we will read the content and then I will tell you what we should learn from such incidences or the story part. So the first incidence of our chapter is tug of war. As a name suggests that it is a kind of sport or game. But here it is not that enjoyable game. It is something different scenario. So let's read it. Once again, everybody in Marita's family is quarreling over watching the TV just like that they do every day. Marita's brother wants to watch a cricket match while little Susan is eager to watch her favorite program of songs. Mommy and auntie are good friends. But their favorite TV programs are different. Mummy likes to watch the news while auntie enjoys a TV serial. Marita wants to watch cartoons and daddy enjoys the football match. He says that he can watch TV only in the evening. Finally, everyone had to watch the football match. And this part of uh, this world of the home, you can learn that you have to make adjustments in the life so that the peaceful life of the home will remain and we have to obey what our elders told us. Okay. Now the second incidence is why the difference? It is a difference between a boy and a girl means it's a gender sensitization uh, incidence. Let's read it and then we will discuss it. It is 7 o'clock in the evening. Pratibha is hurrying home for, from her friend's house. Her brother Sandeep and Sanjay are busy playing round the corner with their friends. They are in no hurry to go home. Even if they are late, nobody will call him. Pratibha thinks that this is not fair. Why should there be one rule for her and another rule for her brothers? But what can she do? Yes, this type of incident is we come across in our daily life but it is the reality of our society that still the girls are observing or going through such type of incidences but it is now going uh, to change a little bit but it will take some time now let's go to the next incidence pilu aunty one day pilu aunty took fali and nazu and their friends to the beach what a good time they had they played in sand and water and then went for a ride on giant field. After that they had bhel puri and bought balloons. Then everybody enjoyed some icy cold kulfi. When the kulfi seller asked for money, he made a mistake. He charged for five kulfis instead of seven. The children thought, hooray, we have saved money. But Pilu auntie paid the money for seven kulfis to the kulfi seller. The children will always remember what Pilu auntie did that day yes of course this incident tells us about the honesty we should develop in ourselves while paying while doing or while feeling the different things in our life okay children now the next incident is what should i do it is one another incident in which the caste discrimination incidence is there let's see what happens there and what will be the result Akshay loves his grandmother very much. She loves him dearly too. She talks to him about many interesting things. Anil is Akshay's friend. His grandmother likes Anil too. But one thing that she tells Akshay again and again is that he should never eat or drink anything at Anil's house. Not even a glass of water. They are very different from our family, she says. One day there was a volleyball match in the big ground near the Anil's house. It was a hot day and everybody was 
tired and thirsty after the war match. Anil invited everybody home. Anil's mother gave water to all of them and they drank it. When Anil handed Akshay a glass of water, he suddenly remembered his grandmother's warning. Akshay started at Anil, sorry, stared at Anil, not knowing what to do. What to do? Anil will drink the water. And because there is no change of, in a quality of water, if it belongs either to the Anil's house or to the Akshay's house. Okay, children. So, there is no difference. Keep it in your mind. We all are same and we all are equal in all respects. Who will decide? Next incidence is who will decide? Dhondu comes from a very large family. His elder uncle looks after the family their fields, money matters, etc. He decided what all the small and big things for the family. Dondu has always worked in the field, but now he wants to do something different. He would like to borrow some money from a bank and to buy a chucky machine to grind grain. There is no such machine in their village. Dhondu is confident that this new work will help him earn money from his family, sorry, for his family, Father has agreed to let him try and the new work, but his elder uncle is not agreeing to this. Yes, this shows that there is a monopoly of his uncle, but if he will explain the profit of his work to the family, then after listening that, his uncle may be or will change their decision to help the dhondu to make a chakki or to do whatever he or she wants to like in the life. Now the next incidence is this. I don't like it. Meena and Ritu were going home after playing hopscotch. Come on, come to my house, pleaded Meena, pulling Ritu by the hand. Is your uncle at home? If he is, I will not come, Ritu answered. But why do you say that? Uncle likes you. He's saying, sorry, he was saying, bring your friend Ritu home and I will give both of you lots of chocolate. Ritu pulled her hand away from Meena, saying, I'm scared of your uncle. I don't like it. When he even touches my hand, saying this, Ritu went home. Okay, this, this incidence is very uh, common, but generally the girls do not try to tell their mother or their elders about it. But see, here you should tell all these things, even the boys also or the girls also. Please try to tell all such incidences to your mother or even your elder mother, brother, sister or even your teacher so that you can remain safe and don't try to uh, involve in such type of activities. And if you see, you, could, you should come and tell your teachers okay so these are the different incidences which will make you a good better citizen of your country see this is the these are the question which you can take up and you can enjoy the life if you will try to imbibe you can develop all such qualities in your life right from the childhood thank you for watching this video if you like this you can share and subscribe my channel and don't forget to tap the bell icon.